New Zealand announced the third emergency of its history after Cyclone Gabrielle devastated communities. A national state of emergency has been declared for the third time in the country's history as Cyclone Gabrielle batters communities with floods, power cuts, forced evacuations, and landslides experienced due to heavy rainstorms. 225,000 people have been left without electricity and Air New Zealand scrapped 500 flights with multiple domestic and international flights cancelled. According to the country's national forecaster, this February saw three times more rain than is normal for the month. The country has experienced a rise in emissions by 59% from 1990 to 2019. Being a vulnerable country to climate change, in August 2022, New Zealand announced the first national plan to combat climate change and global warming. Between 1910 and 2020, New Zealand experienced a rise in temperature of about 1.1 degree Celsius. In the coming years, New Zealand is likely to experience higher amount of rains in the south and west, risking 15,000 kilometers of coastline, putting tens of thousands of households at risk and causing a possible loss of 14 billion US dollars worth of infrastructural damage. Moreover, more drought and forest fires due to increased heat in the east and north are expected weakening the ability of forests to absorb carbon dioxide, one of the main components of greenhouse gases. Recently, the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change saw the world's ocean, land, and air temperatures increase due to global warming. Oceania, where New Zealand and Australia are above the East Antarctica ice sheets in the Antarctic Ocean, which has the world's biggest ice sheets in the whole world, many scientists earlier believed that the East ice sheets would not melt because warm water had not reached that part of the world. But recent studies have shown the Denman Glacier is melting at the rate of 70.8 billion tons a year. Analysis shows that if the world remains below 2 degrees Celsius temperature, sea level rise from the Antarctic ice sheet melts could be avoided. However, continued high emissions and a rise in temperature above 2 degrees Celsius would cause a doomsday-like situation with a 1.5 to 3 meters ocean level rise by 2300 and over 5 meters by 2500. A rise in temperatures and warming oceans would eventually cause a rise in sea levels to a point where coastal cities globally such as New York, Shanghai, Karachi and others will see a destruction of coastal infrastructure, loss of lives, power and overall economic devastation, with developing countries being more vulnerable to the destruction. The increasing floods and droughts are evidence of a rise in temperatures, which need to be urgently addressed. I'm Osama Nizamani, and this was your Daily Dispatch.